Welcome everyone. In this video, we are going to implement ZTransform in MATLAB. So we have a very simple function which is called ZTrans. So whenever we want to find the ZTransform of a function, we can simply write ZTransform followed by that function and MATLAB will give me a ZTransform of that function. Now this is the MATLAB code for ZTransform. Uh, I will define N and W which is any constant R omega you can say as a symbolic variables. Fine. Then I will take the Z transform of the functions that I want of my choice. For example, I have taken Z transform of knocker delta function which is the impulse signal. Then we have the shifted version of unit impulse signal and I have taken Z transform of that signal. Then we have the Z transform of the heavy side signal which is the unit step signal. We have the Z transform of n, we have the Z transform of n square, n cube, sine omega n and cosine omega n. So we will go to the MATLAB and implement this. First thing, I will clear all variables. I will clear the screen. Now, to find the Z transform, first I want to find the Z transform of the unit impulse signal. And we know that unit impulse signal is defined as Konoka delta. So this will give me the zero, uh, the uh, Z transform of the unit impulse signal. I can write here the Z transform of unit impulse signal is fine. So this will give me the Z transform of unit impulse signal. And then I can find the Z transform of a shifted version of unit impulse signal. So Kronoker again knocker is used to define unit impulse signal in MATLAB. So knocker for example n minus 1 which is the delayed version of a simple signal. We will have an impulse at n is equal to 1. And I can again write here that the Z transform of shifted impulse signal is this thing. So this will give me the Z transform of shifted impulse signal and then I can find the Z transform of unit step signal which is heavy side. The command used for unit step is heavy side. So this will give me the uh, Z transform of the unit impulse signal. Again I can write it as the Z transform of unit step signal is okay so now i will go on and define uh, heavy side of n so now i will go on and define other uh, i will take z transform of other signals for example z transform of cosine of omega n so this will give me the z transform of cosine of omega n and then i have the z transform of sine of omega n And then I have the Z transform of, for example, N. So I will define it as F. And then I have the Z transform of N. This will give me the Z transform of N. I can also take the Z transform of N square. Uh, I can also take the Z transform of two functions. For example, I have 2 power N and U of T, U of N. So this is 2 power N and multiplied by u of n. u of n is the step signal which is defined as heavy side of n. Fine, so this, I think we are all set to go. Let me just copy this of the unit impulse. So I will copy this thing and I will say of the cosine. Cosine and then I will say, so this is cosine. Then I will paste it here of sine signal fine and then n n square n to n we will understand it so we will run it hopefully we do not get any error so there is an error in undefined function have we do not define it as sims we need to define it as sims so we need to define the n and I will also define omega as symbolic variable because I am using omega here. If you want to define a, b, c, d as symbolic variable, it is fine. If you do not want to define it as symbolic variable, it is again fine because MATLAB understands it that the result of the Z transform 
we will get a symbolic variable so by default MATLAB will consider a b c d f a symbolic variable so let me run it hopefully we will not have a problem now so here we go it's running so now we can have a look the z transform of unit impulse signal is 1 the z transform of shifted impulse signal is 1 by z which is z power minus 1 unit step signal is 1 divided by z minus 1 which is z divided by z minus 1 if you solve it you will get z divided by z minus 1 cosine signal is this thing sine signal is this thing and then n followed by n square and then 2 power n which is actually z divided by z minus 2 if you solve it you will get z divided by z minus 2 you can also make it look pretty by saying pretty h so that will make a bit look make it look a bit pretty or pretty for example uh, c so c was this function which was the impulse of i think uh, unit step signal fine and similarly we can use pretty function so this is the uh, z transform of the cosine signal pretty just makes it look a bit pretty and more readable that's all for today thank you